Hello again. Uh, today I'm going to do something different from what I usually do, although it won't be in my regular playlist, so that should uh, make sense. So my oldest uh, and surprisingly still many time viewed uh, video on YouTube here is an un uh, unnarrated, I think it's just straight silent, but I don't remember, a uh, video where I show me assembling the craft file basically for the FASA Saturn V in realism overhaul. Um, and uh, it has some issues now. So that, that video is like woefully out of date and it bothers me every time I see how many people watch it. Um, it's unnarrated, which I'm perfectly happy with because that gets, it gets the point across. I'm not sure what people feel they'd get more value out of you know, the basic narration I would have done at that point. Uh, but anyway, so recently uh, when uh, KSP updated to 1.0.5, it required the colliders for hollow things to be different now. As a regular user, you probably don't know what that means, or and certainly shouldn't have to care what it means. But that means that uh, in FASA, the regular release you'd see now, the fact that this ring and this part, uh, this this ring, the lunar module adapter, have not been kind of redone by by the original modder, you know, Frizank or anybody else, um, means that this lem really doesn't like being inside it, and it's okay when you launch it. And if you shoot it into space uh, and then try to separate the limb, you either get an explosion or you, it gets jetted away. Um, either way, you know, un unpleasant, undesirable effect. So, and that's because you know the actual you know measurements of this. The the limb sits inside um, this uh, inside a base, and then these uh, panels kind of cover it up and also support uh, the CSM. So. It even sticks down into this hollow space of the, you know, the this is a computer that runs the, the craft while it's flying. Uh, so both of these, even though to you, the, you, loot, to you and I they look hollow, uh, the program that decides whether something's running into something or not um, says that it's not hollow. So the LEM is running into both of those parts. Now, uh, Raider Nick was uh, nice enough to, um, just like really quick when we, uh, when we asked him, he, it was just the right time. Uh, he helped us by making a uh, fixing the collider for this white part at a point where we didn't realize it was also this part, which also has a problem. Um, so we haven't found a modeler to fix that. Raider Nick has been busy, uh, but you know, we appreciated his original help nonetheless. Um, but uh, so this ring still causes things to collide when it's in them, and so this is the accurate kind of proportion of the craft. Oh, and another shout out to Raider Nick. Uh, I love his mods, he does great work, and he also has, I will link to this, notice that it says USA and United States on this, and not the Kerbal States. So he is a kind of, uh, has some um, textures that I will link to on GitHub, where those are replaced on, you know, crafts where you'll see Kerbal or something. Those textures, you can just take them from, uh, from the GitHub, where he is nice enough to have shared them with us. Uh, where you can get these textures. So I'll share that, and I will share a link to the, his uh, fixed, um, basically the, the file you'd need to replace in your install uh, for this white part. And this you know, black part still has that issue, but yeah, we're still looking for any, anybody who knows how to modify a model. You know, contact me on YouTube here, or just go to the Realism Overhaul GitHub, and you know, post a comment, and we will get in contact with you. But we ultimately uh, you know, need to get the collider for this black ring fixed. So I also want to, um, so what this will result in, like as it is right now, because I'm using this, the fixed part, the uh, Raider Nick fixed for this white thing, if I shoot this into space and then I, you know, uh, transposition and dock, I spin the CSM around and dock, when I uh, separate the lunar module, it will kind of be, the, the, the assembly of the two will be kind of thrown away from this. But for me, I've never had an explosion. Other people get an explosion. Uh, that doesn't happen for me, but you know, fair enough. That's I'm okay with that because I know it's going to happen. It doesn't really affect my mission. Uh, but Crystal or C Tiberius, as he's known on uh, on GitHub, has been nice enough to uh, give us an alternate. So this I've saved this craft as short. At some point, I'll be replacing the craft here because um, what we're, you know, we're changing on the GitHub the size of this part slightly. Uh, the node position, so it'll need a new craft file. So next realism overhaul release should have that. Don't think I don't know if we'll have another realism overhaul release before um, before 1.1 comes out, but um, you can always get the most recent uh, up to date changes on the GitHub just by downloading zip and installing it locally. But I have 
he is uh, C. Tiberius, uh, Chrysal, has been nice enough to um, stretch that base. So it's, you know, it's not realistic, but it's an excellent interim solution. You make basically a clone of that part and stretch it longer. One just quickly, if, by the way, if you uh, aren't sure how, my, how this full-scale Saturn V is fitting in here, I have hanger extender. Uh, so here it shows how it would actually look in the regular VAB, and you click, it makes the VAB bigger. So let me scroll up to the base. So notice how this white base is way longer, and if I pull that off, you can see that the legs don't extend out into this hollow black ring that isn't so hollow in the way the game views it. So Crystal gave us this excellent part. It is, if you assemble craft yourself, which I totally invite you to, um, it is in... Here, I think. Come on. Uh, you know, I can't queue up everything uh, beforehand, and my memory is by no means perfect. But anyway, it's another piece that's somewhere in here that you'll see as a longer ring. I mean, I was able to find it originally to build this. I'm guessing it's in structural. Mm, there we go. So there's the original base, and then he's made the long base, which is what I'm using here, and a medium one that splits the difference, but honestly, either, either you, you know, uh, that's the actual original, like the right kind of size and specs, or uh, the one where the this one where the issue doesn't happen at all. Uh, we'll probably include them all in you know the realism overhaul GitHub, which will end up in a subsequent release unless the collider gets fixed before then. So you can see it doesn't poke down into there. Uh, this white base is longer because it has a nice hollow collider thanks to Raider Nick, and so that you know because this we don't want it to bump into the engine there, um, it has to be longer. For, it, uh, for both the legs and the body to fit within this white ring. So there you go. So I'll uh, have ac you'll have access to this craft file. I think I'll, you know, pretty shortly I'll I'll add it to the to the realism overhaul GitHub as well. Um, but kind of my philosophy of these craft files. So I am the one to blame. Uh, <laughs> I'm the one who makes the FASA craft files for realism overhaul because um, if you just want to learn to fly, I want it to be as easy as possible, right? If you just if you want to figure out how to reassemble to assemble one of these craft i find the easiest way to do it is to start from one that's already made so uh, yeah i've got enough time here so i'm also going to redo um, the video in which i assemble this I'll, I'll do it as a separate video because that was kind of an explanation and description of some of the crazy bugs that have gone you know being in realism overhaul and fasa since 1.0.5 uh, was released and the excellent fix that Chris Tiberius has uh, given to the GitHub that I'll be um, merging into the Realism Overhaul mod soon. And normal people who say download through CCAN or you know, full releases just won't see it until the next release, but you can always get it through the GitHub by downloading and installing the zip for Realism Overhaul. Um, yeah, so it just doesn't sit in there. So right away I'm going to you know, do a cut here and then do a narrated video where I assemble this craft file. Um, and like I said, the reason I ma make these isn't so necessarily you, you have to or are encouraged to just fly the craft as I've assembled it. It's just it's an easy, functional, assembled craft that you can just use yourself. Um, you know, uh, use it or use um, seeing everything together to learn how to assemble it yourself. You know, or obviously do it your own way, right? All right, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll have another video where I reassemble this uh, narrated soon. Goodbye.